the team will try one more run, and the maximum speed Guy achieves will be recorded by a GPS device. Right, I think we're ready. The British Pacing Association's Graham Bristow has come to officiate. It's a major project to do this. Uh, anyone, anyone who else who wants to attempt it, they've got to know it's serious business. I'm not scared of crashing. I'm not scared of crashing. But I just, I just, you just get that feeling. I'm just signing my mum's telephone number. For real? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Who would you miss? <laughs> who would I miss? I miss my toolbox. <laughs> At least we're still laughing. Then it comes down to you. How fast can you pedal? You've got an advantage because the speed doesn't bother you, does it? Keep those legs turning. Really empty the tank on this one, guys. Come on, guys. Come with me, mate. Come with me, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I really believe that you'll do it. OK. Come on, guy. When you're getting pulled along, it's just so hard to keep an idea of where you're going while trying to get your foot clipped in. And then the rope slacking its tight, it's slacking its tight, it's slacking its tight. It just feels so wrong. Release! It was just a, a horrendous experience. And I was absolutely on the red limit. Absolutely on the red limit. 100 mile an hour. Really see where we was going because my visor had misted up. There was sand on the inside, and I could sort of see the faint white lines on the back of the truck. I felt like we was going to ride off the end of the earth. Come on, guys! I was still trying like hell to keep, but I had nothing left. I had nothing left. My tank was empty, and I was trying to keep on the back of the truck, and I'd sort of given in. But my legs wouldn't let that truck get away. No, no, go, 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 go. I felt like I was going to rip the muscles off my legs. I just had to try that hard to keep on his back. Come on, guys, please. Come on, mate. I've lost the cones. I've lost the good beach. Break, break, Kelly, break. At the end, I had absolutely nothing left. I mean, what, what if I was it? Three miles? Three miles, and I was absolutely blowing out my ass. It was just a red. It was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. You all right? Yeah. He stayed on, good man. Good yeah. man. Not liking it. Tonight, I won't sleep tonight because that there. That was near. Go on, let's get back, boys. Get check the speed. That was messy. At least he stayed on. Yeah. And break off. She might go a bit back. So there's all what probably all ten of us involved in the whole project. Sat in the back of the van. Um, yeah, waiting for um, Mike to come up with a. With the numbers. Your maximum speed is 112.94 miles an hour. Guy, I don't know how you do that, mate. I'm so proud of you, mate. <laughs> Cheers, man. Oh, I think that's the maddest thing I've ever seen on a bike, really. <laughs> well done. Thanks very much. It's amazing and scary at the, the same time. I think he's doing remarkably well. The biggest thing is that we was doing over 100 mile an hour for over a mile. So I've rode over a mile at over 100 mile an hour on a push bike. Hey. I've seen lots of different records go in the past, but never seen anything like this, and I think, well, well done. Cheers, no. mate. Thank you very much. I'm Britain's fastest cyclist. Yeah. It's a bit of a sort of a cocky thing to say, but yeah, when you say it out loud and you hear yourself saying it, yeah, it sounds all right. Yeah, I'm Britain's fastest cyclist. Check me out. Not too bad for a few idiots in the shed. Eh? <laughs> <laughs>